You are welcome to the first video of Juniper Security Associate course. In this section, I will talk about Juniper SRX series devices and also features. Juniper SRX devices are classified based on the location that we will use them in the network like campus, branches, virtual environment, data center and service provider infrastructure. Juniper SRX device is primarily a firewall and therefore it supports any features that is usually supported in a firewall like NAT, IPS, VPN, and some next generation firewall features like antivirus, anti-spam, URL filtering, application firewall, IDS, IPS, and user-based access control or user-based authentication. Juniper SRX devices are primarily a firewall device and there are many models based on the locations where we will using them. Branch offices, campus, data center and service provider infrastructure, and virtual environments are the locations, as you can see in the Juniper website, in the product, network, and firewall security section. The branch offices usually use SRX 300 series devices, such as SRX 300, SRX 320, 340, 345, and 380, which consolidate security features, SD-WAN, routing, and also switching in a one a small device. SRX 300 series firewall devices throughput varies between one gigabit per second and up to 10 gigabit per second. SRX 1500 with firewall throughput of 5 gigabit per second can also be used in branch offices in addition to distributed enterprise campus and small and mid-size data centers. Enterprise campus environment usually use SRX 4000 series devices such as SRX 4100, 4200 and 4600 in which firewall throughput varies from 22 gigabit per second to 400 gigabit per second. SRX 1500 with 5 gigabit per second firewall throughput can also be used in distributed enterprise campus and small and mid-sized data centers. The next is data center and service provider environment. Data center and service provider infrastructure usually use SRX 5000 series devices such as SRX 5400, 5600 and 5008 in which firewall throughput varies from 270 gigabit per second to 1 terabit per second. SRX 4600 with 400 gigabit per second firewall throughput can also be used in private enterprise clouds, campus networks, and public cloud infrastructures. And the next is Virtual, virtual SRX and container SRX are two types of SRX device for virtual environment. Virtual SRX is a virtual machine SRX which is used in private and public cloud environments. Amazon Web Service or AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Platform, IBM Cloud and Oracle Cloud environment, all of them support virtual SRX. Container SRX with 13 gigabit per second firewall throughput is a container based SRX which is used in container and micro service environment. In continue, we will discuss the main features of a Juniper SRX device that will be covered in this course. But before that, let's answer the question of where a Juniper 
SRX device is usually located on the network. The main task of a Juniper SRX is to control traffic between different sections of the network. Therefore, it can be configured between different zones of the network where the traffic has to be inspected. For example, it can be placed at the edge of the network to control traffic between the campus and the internet or branch offices or it can be configured at the edge of data center to control all traffic incoming and outgoing of the data center environment. Being a firewall is the main task of a Juniper SRX to control traffic between any two zones. Firewall can be a stateless or a stateful and it's usually configured as a, a stateful traffic filter device. In a stateless firewall, every packet is separately inspected with different policies to decide if the packet must be discarded or is allowed to be forwarded. But with a stateful firewall, only the first packet of every new session will be inspected with different configured policies. If the packet is allowed, then the header of the packet and also the policies matching the packet will be added to the session table. Every other packet related to this session incoming and outgoing will not be inspected anymore with the policies. It will be behave exactly like the first packet and only the session table will be updated according to the header of the latest packet related to the session. NAT is another important application of any firewall. There are two main types of NAT, source NAT and destination NAT. With a source NAT, many clients with a private address range can connect to the internet with having just a few public IP addresses. With destination NAT, clients over the internet are able to connect to the servers located in the enterprise network which have private IP addresses. There are some other types of NAT like policy NAT and application NAT which will be discussed throughout the course. Implementing IPsec VPN in Juniper SOX devices allows creating a private and secure network over public network like internet or any one environment. This is one of the topics that will be discussed throughout the course. In the recent years, some features have been added in Juniper SRX and also in firewalls of other vendors, which are called next generation security features user base traffic filtering application firewall called app secure in juniper srx intrusion detection and prevention or ids ips and utm features like antivirus anti-spam ur filtering are some of these features which are called the next generation security features what is new in all next generation security features is that they can inspect, monitor and control application layer traffic in addition to low layer information. IDS IPS is a feature to detect and prevent attacks in the network traffic. This is done usually through pre-configured signatures that matches known attacks signatures must be periodically updated like what we do for antivirus signatures. Another feature in the category of next generation firewall is app secure, which means control and visibility in application layer. For example, with this feature, you can control if the users are allowed to add a video in Instagram or Facebook or if they are allowed to call with WhatsApp application. This is also true in monitoring and visibility of traffic in application layer. 
SSL proxy and SSL inspection is another feature in App Secure classification, which allows us to inspect encrypted HTTPS website and SSL applications. Another feature in the category of next generation firewall is user based firewall. Normally, when we want to give an access or control traffic of a specific user in the firewall, we identify the users based on their IP addresses. That means the IP address of the user must be fixed and not allowed to be changed. With this new feature user based firewall, it is possible to control traffic based on user name, even if the IP address of the user is changing during the day. And the last feature in the category of next generation firewall is called UTM. Some of the most important features in the category of UTM are antivirus, anti-spam, and UR filtering. It also prevents the user from uploading critical information like customers' email address and phone numbers out of the enterprise. This is called DLP. These are the most important features that exist not only in Juniper SIX security device, but also in other vendors. We will learn some of these features in this course and the others in the upcoming Juniper security courses.